Okay, I turned on my overhead light or my uh, desk lamp to see if I could get it to lighten up a little bit in here. Okay, I've got my um, needle. You probably want to use a pretty good needle because um, you are going through um, this um, sheepskin and you do have to um, push. Uh, it, uh, so you want a nice needle. Um, quilting thread, like I said, that's what I'm using. Um, our first step is going to be to take our um, top piece and put it to our toe piece. So we're doing our first step is to sew this piece to this piece right here. Can you see that? And that's what I'm going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, we're sewing right sides together so we're going to put the fuzzy part together you're going to have a little bit of an overhang here and a little bit of overhang on there that's so that when you open that up it'll all look even so let's go ahead and put a couple pins in there so we know exactly where we're sewing So all your sewing is done on the top of the uh, with the um, fur on the inside. Okay, so there's that, and there's the back. If you have too much of this fur, just pull it out and get it out of the way. Okay, so you're going to what? First thing you're going to do is just put a um, knot in your in your um, thread. Just go around a couple times and pull it, so you have a nice little knot something that won't go through the um, sheepskin. Trim it down. Okay, so the first place you're going to start is um, your first... Oops, I got that. Okay, your first place you're going to start is you're going to take your, your... Don't worry about this little piece hanging right here. Go underneath and pull it out so it's like a quarter of an inch um, in from the edge. If that's not enough, then move your needle until you do get it enough. Okay, so that's your, you're not, you're doing, you're pulling your thread on the opposite side of that first piece. Okay, so now you're going to come around and you're going to go a quarter of an inch in. I hope you can see this. Okay, you're going to go a quarter of an inch in. And that is going to be, and go all the way through to where that first piece came through. Okay. So that is stitch number one, and you want to pull it tight. So on these stitches, you want to keep them pretty even towards the top. Now I pulled mine really tight, and I'm thinking I did. I pulled them too tight. So um, see how that's really tight, and you can see how it's all buckling. Maybe I did a little too tight. So this time I'm just going to go slightly tight, and I'll make another one of this one. So now, since that's our first stitch, we're going to have to hook that up underneath that first thread just to catch it so that when we go to do st stitch number two, um, it's in the right location. But you only have to do this on the first stitch. So now see where my thread is? It's on the opposite side of that first stitch. Okay, so stitch number two, I'm going to go over about a quarter of an inch, down a quarter of an inch, all the way through to the front. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let me get rid of this needle. Pull your thread through, and before it um, goes all the way through, see how it's, it's just like that? What you want to do is you want to come up and go inside that so that when you do pull that thread tight, what's going to happen is it's going to catch. And now that's perpendicular, perpendicular to the edge. Okay, let me do it again. So go down over a quarter of an inch, down a quarter of an inch. Okay, if it's not right, move your thread, move it around in the front until you got it right. Okay, so pull it until it's mostly in, and then put your needle through there so that when you pull that tight, it catches that thread. Okay, so you want to do a little bit tight, not too tight, just a little tight. Okay, next stitch, same thing. Over a quarter, down a quarter, if it's too much in front, move it around. Okay, make sure you keep your, your, your fabric in the right location. Okay, so same thing. 
So you can do this all the way across. If you miss one and it's not tight enough, you can go back and pull it so you do make it tight enough and then catch that there. Okay, so once you get the hang of this, you're going to be able to just look and see where your next stitch is supposed to go. Okay, so there's that, that, up, and through. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to whip through this one here. You know, I was thinking that you could probably even, um, you know how they make those um, sheepskin uh, vests that have the sewing on the outside so you can see the fur on the, um, the seam, how they sew it together? You could probably do an entire vest by hand too. I mean, if you like hand sewing, otherwise you're probably better off on the sewing machine. But you know, it's just an idea. I'm going to give it a try, see what it looks like. I like this rustic look. Okay, so I'm almost at my last stitch. Okay, so now before I cut that off and finish it, I want to check and make sure that um, all my stitches are pretty uniform because before I um, seal it off, I want to make sure that it looks pretty decent. Okay, so um, I don't know if you have a shoe form or not, but that's what this is right here. This is going to come up across, and that is going to be your toe and the top. So even though I wasn't as tight as I was on this one, I'm still getting that little puckering here. So um, I guess it's just the way this shoe is made that there's really no way of getting around it. So, anyway, I didn't cut that very well, did I? Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that off. So, I am going to go ahead and um, go back in to the same spot that I just did, as I pulled it through. Now I'm going to see how I've got that like that. I'm going to turn around and go back in the same exact way I was the same stitch so you don't even see that I'm going over my stitches and that will lock that stitch in place. Okay, so now what you can do is you can take your thread and then just go through to the other side. You can come up if you want to and just come down through the middle and then just put a couple knots in there. And that way you're securing that thread so it doesn't um, come apart on you. So just go ahead and, and uh, come down here and put a couple knots in. So that was that one. So step one, done. Okay. Step two is taking the back of your um, shoe and you're going to sew this side completely up one side. The same exact way we did. I'm not going to do this all on camera because it takes too long to do the hand sewing. So um, what I'm going to do is sew this side up and then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take this side and I'm going to sew it up but I'm only going to sew up to um, right where that turn comes off so I'm going to sew from here to here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew and then I'm going to do my last stitch right here and then I'm going to come up on the opposite side of this and catch that 
and do the same type of stitch and then I'll have room for one more stitch. So I'll have a stitch here right at that edge and then a stitch on top of that and then I'll f finish that off right there. And that's how you get around these um, bumps because you don't, um, you can see right here I've got a stitch on this side and then I move this bump away and then I do a stitch right next to it on the other side and that's how you get around these two. And then here I'm going to only sew two where that stitch was. That was my last stitch right there. Okay, so once I got those two side seams done, then I'll come back and we'll put the foot on. Okay, I checked that um, sheepskin fabric is 60 inches wide, so it is um, quite large. Um, quite long anyway across. Okay, so I finished that seam. I did what I said I was going to do. I sewed on one side, moved this over, sewed on the other. And can you see how all this is all fluffy? What you can do is you can trim that down so it looks a lot nicer. But um, just make sure that when you are trimming that fur down that you do not cut your stitches. But um, once you hit that thick quilting thread you'll know you hit a stitch or not. If you want, you can trim this little thing so it's round and not so square, too. Um, and then it'll show a little bit more of the fur. So, okay, so that's that. And then on the other side, like I said, you could have sewed your snap on that already, but I didn't. Um, so I went up to here. I started all the way. I went up to here, and I stopped my last stitch right there below that. Um, uh, where the snap is going to go. Now as far as going to the top, go on the other side, go all the way to the top because um, you don't want that to be open at the top because that is the top of your boot. This one stays open. We're just going to whip stitch around it. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're going to um, put in our sole. So what you want to do is take whatever doll you're going to put these, make you're making these shoes for and use her as a model. And the reason for that is because if you don't line these up um, on your doll's foot, you're going to end up with something like this. I um, didn't pay any attention to what I was doing and I've got one side over here and one side over there when they should be, um, well even that's a little off. Um, let me show you what I mean. So this is going to be the the right foot of the doll. So put it on your doll's foot. And uh, see how this is on one side and that's on the other. What you want to do is try and get them as close together this way as possible. So then take the sole of your foot and put that in there and put a couple pins in there if you can just so you know exactly where you want to start your sewing. Um, let me put one here. And that's just to try to keep you on um, on the right track. I've noticed that when I'm sewing on these that they do tend to shift on you. So um, just, just do the best you can. Um, if it's really bad you can always take it out and try again. So let me um, put a pin here. So at least I have an idea of where to start. Okay, so there's that and that. Let me put this back on. Let me get the other one out. Okay, let's see what they would look like together. Okay, so there is Kyla in her Uggs sheepskin boots. Okay, so now all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, do the bottom stitching just like I did on this one and, and hook that all the way around the bottom of the boot with the same exact type of stitch. Same thing applies to these side seams. I'm going to sew here on this one side and then I'm going to come around and sew right on the other side so that you're going to get that little side-by-side -side, um, uh, edging right there like that. Okay, I'm not going to do this on the video because it just takes too long. So I'm going to leave that pin in and I'm going to start in the back, go all the way around. And hopefully I won't end up with, um, but you know, it's okay if it, it turns out like this. But what you want to do is try and get that so it's not so, um, but she can still stand, stand by herself with these shoes on. So, so 
you know, it's up to you whether or not you want to try and get that so it's more flatter on the bottom. Okay, so I'll sew that up and then I'll be back.